Hello friends, I am back with a program in context to C language and in fact this particular program has been proposed by one of my friends, her name is Shumona. I really appreciate her effort. Let me show you what the program is all about. And here comes the program. This program talks about the numerology where you give a particular name as a input for which the program has to find out individual alphabet position as the 18 being the uh, 18 represent R and 1 represent A and in this way it continues till you get the sum of all the position and finally comes up with 87. And since 87 is not a single digit so you go to individualize this these two digits and then you come up with 15 and again the 15 is not a single digit so you again you further continue till you repeat it and you get the value as 6 and that would be the final output for the input given as Raj Roy. So this is the program and let's see what the program how the program would look like so let me just minimize this program and here comes the solution of the program and uh, I want to show you the output as well I would give the same input what has been given in the in the pic file so since the input is in uppercase so I will go for the uppercase only so Raj Roy this is input and here comes the output well the number 7 represents the number of digits I mean it is the number of characters as the input been given including a blank space as well and here are the individual positions of the characters that has been taken as input and finally it came out with output 87 initially and then we went for the summation of that and which led to 6 and that was the output been desired. So let's see how the program is, well, uh, is working. So here comes the array which I have taken the input from the user and the input is the Raj Roy that got stored and finally I went for calculating the length of the array which is not required to display as an output but since I need to know it uh, in order to run my loop so I went for calculation of that with the help of a library function and it showed the number as 7 including a blank space but do remember this particular program uh, will not make use of the blank space so uh, this particular blank space need to be avoided and that's the reason when I am extracting individual characters over here and at that time I am checking if it is not a blank space. If it is not a blank space then only you are going with this particular decision making. But if it is a blank space, when suppose after the fourth character the blank space encounter, the thing will be uh, will not be executed and the thing will not be taken care of. So here what I am doing, I am individually extracting the alphabet and the alphabet which I extracted over here since it is a character type and then I need to go for type costing to, to get it in its numeric uh, value and that would be an ASCII value. So that means assume that if, if my input is an uppercase A, so I am going to get over here as 65 and 65 gets over here. And then what I am going over here 65 minus 64 in order to get the first position as 1. So I am basically using the ASCII of the input that has been given in order to get the numeric position of that alphabet and this particular process continues. Uh, in case of the alphabet R, in caps its position uh, is uh, 18 but its ASCII value is 82 so here I am getting 82 so 82 minus 64 I am going to get the output as 18 and that 18 gets stored into Z which was initialized initially by 0 and this way the loop continues and it extracts all the individual characters representing its ASCII value and then converting it to the position to which the input belongs to and then finally the sum is generated in the variable z and that's what I am printed over here as total is 87 that's what even the program showed you initially this is 87. Now I have to go for individualizing this number so here comes a loop uh, z is consisting of a number greater than 0 so the loop will start here I am going for the modulus operation which will show me the input uh, sorry the show me the remainder of the input that has been given which is 87 with the input over here 87 modulus 10 I am getting the remainder stored over here and that remainder is going to be added up with this particular variable d which was been initialized with 0. So uh, 10, uh, 87 divided by 10 would give me the remainder as 7. So the 7 gets stored over here and then I am going for again the quotient being calculated over here and this quotient is uh, is 8 that will be stored in z so that the process gets repeated over here. So initially this z uh, is not 0, so this particular part of the statement will not work. This particular portion is executing for finding out this number. So once uh, we get to 0, that is z get to 0, so I have generated the 15. The 15 is right now stored inside the z. So I have to go for again for the uh, iteration because 15 is not a single digit and has been asked to generate a single digit. So z is not, when it is equal to 0, then I and the value of d is uh, should be greater than 10 then only you go for the iteration otherwise you terminate and the value of d is obviously 15 is greater than 10 so I am just further reinitializing z with 
15 the input that has been calculated because of this previous iteration and i am uh, reassigning the value d to 0 because 0 is because d need to further store this particular individual summation 1 and 5 so this process continues and then we get to find out the figure 6 and that the output will be finally printed out and since it's a single digit the iteration will stop and that's how the numerology of a given input or a given name is gets calculated so thank you Shumona for giving up this particular program and I really appreciate and I would like to put forward further videos on this kind of topic. Thanking you. Have a nice day.